All right, we're making meatloaf. Um, I have the oven preheated to 375. This is just one pound of ground beef. We are going to add in um, one half of a cup of milk, one egg. There's the one egg. We're gonna add in a half of a cup of yellow onion. And one cup of breadcrumbs. We had to make our own because we we're out. So I just took oyster crackers and crumbled them up in a Ziploc bag. We're going to see if this is about a cup's worth or not. Yep, that worked. And then we're going to put in two tablespoons of ketchup, um, three fourths teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon um, of garlic, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. We also added in one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and these were the oyster crackers that we used. I've never used them before in meatloaf, but we'll see how that ends up tasting. And again, that was two tablespoons of ketchup. Now we're just gonna mix it all together um, and then put it in the pan. All right, there it is in the pan. It looks a little extra yellow because of those uh, oyster crackers. <laughs> but I'm sure it will taste fine. Um, this pan size is an eight inch by four inch. So that fits about, you know, one pound of beef. And it's just going in the oven for about 40 minutes. And then I'm gonna put a glaze on um, after about 40 minutes in the 375 oven. All right, so after it was in the oven for 40 minutes, then I pulled it out and I put on a glaze of a quarter cup of ketchup and two tablespoons of brown sugar and then put it in the oven again for another 20 minutes. So it's been in there for an hour. We'll see if it's at the right temp yet. All right, so it's ready to eat. It's over 160, which is what we needed for the temperature. So we can give it a try. All right, we already ate a whole bunch of it, but this is just an example um, of the other half of it. And we used 80-20 beef. Um, it, did have a lot of the fat at the bottom of the meatloaf pan. Usually we use the 90-10 meat, but again, we used what we had. So just be prepared, like if you're going to stick in the meatloaf pan and you're using the 80-20 the um, percentages for the beef, that it will have more fat on the bottom. Some people will use that to make, um, you know, gravy or whatever. But for us, we would just throw that away. <laughs> so... <laughs> So if you prefer using like the 90% instead of the 80%, then you won't have all of that at the bottom of the pan. All right, now we're gonna make the potatoes. I am using these um, red potatoes. They're pretty big, like, I mean, that's like the size of my hand. So they're, they're big. They're not little tiny baby ones, but I'm using, I think, what is that, six? and I feed two or three people with that. All right, so we're rolling in the water. I ended up taking out two of the baked potatoes. I ended up only using four because I just got tired of chopping it and it's really just me and my daughter tonight, so that'll be plenty. We'll boil the potatoes. We'll get that heated back up to a boil, put in some salt. Okay, this is getting close to done. Just wanna Use a fork to see if it's tender enough. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer and then we'll mush them up. All right, I've strained out the water and then I put in two tablespoons of milk and one tablespoon of butter. There we go. We frequently do this where we just leave the skins on. We make smashed potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna put in two more tablespoons of milk and another tablespoon of butter. Then we added in some salt from Costco pink Himalayan, and garlic powder. All right, there it is. Put in a little bit more butter. All right, there they are. Smashed potatoes, smashed garlic potatoes. 